Oh, Cliff, the uh, it exploded. So, guys, uh, it looks like they're out and about swimming. So that egg sack has actually opened up. Wow. And they are swimming around all over the place, which looks pretty cool. So there they are. Remember, they were in that giant egg sack earlier on Thursday when we last looked at them. But now it looks like they're just swimming all over the place. They do have a mosquito-like swimming. But mosquitoes lay on a raft, not like in a giant like bag-like structure. Um, so they're not mosquitoes. So in theory, we should not be having mosquitoes in the house. In theory. Um, but... They do very much swim like the mosquito larvae. There is one in a caddis. Uh, no. Wait, what do you mean, Cliff? This one, Cliff? Is there another caddis, caddis fly larva? Yeah, and it looks like it's building its little house. It's building a new house right there. This one might also be one too, Cliff. Oh, was it a caddis fly egg sac? I couldn't remember. We had looked at both a midge and a caddis fly. But yeah, it's building its little shell that it'll develop in. It looks like there's also some competition happening on it, too. It's kind of nifty. No. Ever so slightly terrifying, chat. But yeah, Cliff, thank you for reminding us to check on them. It's kind of cool to see all the detail happening. And then the internal organs of these little ones, too. Whee! It's actually really, really cute looking. Yeah, pretty cool. Cliff, thank you for that reminder to check in on him. Otherwise, I would have been like, oh, yeah. I was actually just going to wait till tomorrow, but I like being able to look at him now. Oh, wow. So this is our little pod of caddis flies that we had from that egg sack. We found when we opened it up yesterday, most of the little like larvae were swimming around openly, but now there's tons of these like metamorphosis pods for them. So if you look inside, right there, oh, and it's hopped out. But all of these have these little like hollow tubes now, right? Where they can go into. Like you can see this one here is inside of that tube, like undergoing that development. Actually, Cliff suggested it yesterday that we give them a little bit more debris. And now this entire plate is covered with like these little pod looking structures. Claire, I think these are arcadis flies. Well, larvae at this point. But they're like this entire plate, like I'm zoomed as far out as I can, but just like, look at this plate. Like, all, like guys, every single one of these is a pod that was not there yesterday. These cases, Dakum, excellent question. Luckily I have my handy dandy microscopy ruler. So Dakum, Three to five millimeters, it looks like, is about the size. Uh, this wasn't there yesterday either. This, yeah, Athena cat. This, oh. <laughs> Where's my drink? Thank you, big game. This looks like another egg sack. Um. Guys, uh, well, I just don't know what it's from because what we did yesterday was we added more water and debris into the sample plate. But when we looked through the plate yesterday, there wasn't another egg sac. 
So I'm not entirely sure what this exactly is or who laid this particular egg sac. Smikes, we think the little worms are Cadis fly larvae. They build these little cocoon-like structures out of debris in the water. And so you can see inside of this one These are hatched, Claire, from the um, that egg sack that we had not too long ago. Hi, Digital Dak. Welcome in. These were hatched from that egg sack not too long ago. But from an egg tube to a detri... Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, so like the, the big egg sack that we had earlier. They hatched out of that. And then they were just like free th throwing around. Oh, so Claire, we thought it was a midge. But then all of those that came out started doing this behavior and so i i think we like keep we're keeping like claire this is the beauty right we keep uh changing what we think it is based on the behavior but i think that's kind of cool because it's like okay we're finding related patterns between the different uh organisms and what makes them similar right and so it like they're all doing this tubing behavior always used ff until being on the ipad everyone has made their own little homes and eggs yeah it's crazy golganak it's like and it's just i think it's really cool that we we look inside this particular tube and you can see the little like movement happening of the creature yeah and also claire it's knowledge that it's okay to be wrong which i think is a really nice way of thinking about things um because there's so many instances where, like, I know I we were having a, a research talk last week about the importance of being wrong and being okay to admit that you're wrong. Um, and it's all, like, how, like, some labs, the culture is, you're not allowed to be wrong, which actually can lead to very, very negative, like, cultural things in the lab where people will, like, you know, not be honest about their data because they're told they can't be wrong. And I don't know how you're really wrong at science. Like, if your hypothesis is X, but it turns out to be Y, like, that's, your hypothesis is wrong, but, like, science is it wrong. Like, the animals do what the animals do, or cells, or whatever, right? You can't make it do that. But yeah, the egg sac here, this Claire looks like a different egg sac to me. It's very, very different in pattern. Like, guys, that's really, really cool. This, I, this to me, looks like some kind of egg. And it's like something's developing in there. But I, you know, it is, it's not Arcade as well. It's definitely different. I wonder if these are our frog eggs? Remember we jokingly said we had... Or snail eggs? It kind of looks like the snail egg sack. Yeah, I, no, Cliff, exactly. I, I wonder if that's it, because this looks a little bit more like the egg. Is there a stick to that bag that's attached? Oh, is this... Ah, I will, I will take a close look. Yeah, so this to me looks like, again, some flavor of egg sack. And actually, Claire's question is very accurate. Or points, kind of best way to say it. There is this thing here is attached. Take an image. This right here is looks like it is in a way attached to this egg sac. And then it looks like too that it's either in inside or outside of it. The contrast. Mm. So Claire, you want the contrast change. What we can do, Claire, this unfortunately, so dissecting scopes tend not to have built-in contrast into them. The contrast is more on the, uh, the regular light microscope. The sample here is far too big to put under a light microscope, just like the volume that we're talking. So with this stick being attached to the egg sac, it is a question of, okay, is it really attached or is it like something else that's growing on it? Because it does look like there's debris around it. I, The contrast would help us see it a little better. 
but I'm not even sure short of poking it would it really help with it being having like a good question of seeing this amphibian X I'm on the same page Ooh, what is this cliff oh cool so cliff brought up this image and it looks like kind of like what we're seeing underneath the scope which is an egg sac for amphibians so it looks like a frog egg sac um, cliff what I don't get is where it came from it looks like on based on this it's probably frog eggs based on cliff's guide you know it almost like when we're looking at it there those look to be like actual structure to it like in this orientation here right and there's a little inset there of the body again where did this came from though I don't know. I'm not saying it spontaneously appeared but I don't remember us seeing this yesterday and I guess there's probably some caitus fly larvae underneath that are causing the swimming behavior and then we're also looking at these caitus fly embryos inside their cocoons that they built out of debris. You can see that one wiggling inside. There's also some caitus flies that aren't yet inside of like one of these cocoons. You can see that some of them are building new ones and still not finished. And then there's other ones that are just kind of loosey goosey all over the place. You can see this one's look, look at just playing peekaboo. I don't know that's I think that's really freaking cool that we can see something like that like like did that res yeah granted it's not the highest resolution camera but we're still seeing some really remarkable things thanks for watching science media and be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons to help our channel grow and support our science outreach and education goals we can be found on Twitch most days of the week, and be sure to join us here for our next video. Thanks again, and stay curious, everyone.